on, you're going to want to take a, uh, at least with mine, it's a 1 and 1 16th inch uh, socket with a ratchet. Use a half inch ratchet. You want the beefiest one you can get. I recommend using a socket like this, so you can see the inside of it, versus one of these. This one will strip, especially if this is the first time you've ever done it and you've never taken this off. Uh, the calcium buildup and everything you have on this, this is going to be stuck big time. So use one of these, this is the best. So probably going to need a cheater pipe, so some um, steel pipe that goes on the end of this that gives you more leverage so your arm will be out here more. Um, and um, if it's never been taken out, there's a good chance that this is just going to twist. The entire tank is going to twist while you're trying to do it and you're not going to get any or enough torque on this to break the bond. What I had to do, you can kind of see the marks here. I had to put a ratchet strap all the way around under this, obviously, between here. Uh, but a ratchet strap, I put a foam, like stadium cushion here, and then one on the back. And I cinched this down with the ratchet lock right here as tight as I could. I then ran a flat board against this wall. And then I took another board, like a 2 by 4 piece, that ran against um, this flat board against the wall over to the ratchet um, locking mechanism here. Um, and I got that really tight in there so that it was not moving on its own. That way, when I pulled on this and tried to go um, counterclockwise, trying to twist the whole thing this way, this tank couldn't spin because of the board that was pushing up against the wall. That's what I ultimately had to do. And I had a cheater pipe all the way standing out here, my arm out here, in order to break this for the first time. I now do this process yearly. Uh, so it's not that big of a deal, but that was my horror story. Let's get on to the next step.